Hey folks, Free Play Frank. Well, this week I'm going to show you how I fix my glow plug issues on my 7.3 IDI diesel motor that I got in my Ford truck. And then later I'm going to play another Rush song for you, Fly By Night. So let's get to it. Alright, so I've got a 7.3 diesel installed in my 1976 Ford truck. And it works great, except that the glow plugs don't want to work properly. Now I'll show you what I mean. Let me do a cold start here, turn the key on, and I'll push this button here. I've got it hooked up to a button. Hear that clicking? Well, apparently it's not supposed to be doing that. So I'll show you what happens. Wait till the clicking stops. See, it doesn't fire. Now it usually takes about, when it's hot out, about four or five cycles like that to get it to start to fire. When it's cold out, you'll never get it started without plugging in the block heater. So we're going to try and change the glow plug controller. I got another one out of a used truck that I saw work really well. So that's the first thing I'm going to try to do. Okay, so the glow plug controller on the 7.3s is located at the back of the motor behind the air cleaner. Now here's the unit right here. Now to replace this, all you do is you got one mounting bolt right here. Another mounting bolt right there. And then you have to change, like this is your main power wire that comes in from your battery. And this red wire here, this is the one that comes from the ignition. Or in my case, I have a push button, so it activates this here. And this here wire is the wires that come out of the controller and go to your glow plugs. And you can see there's an old, this is the original wire here that I stopped using because it was burnt on the exhaust manifold. This thing here just turns on the, um, what do you call that light? Uh, the wait to start light. So I don't even think that this is even hooked up on mine because this is installed in an older truck. So, so I'm gonna get to work here and replace this and then we'll see how it works. Alright, so I changed the glow plug controller and believe it or not, it's actually worse now. I went through about eight cycles and it still didn't fire. So, and I also checked all the wiring that goes to the glow plugs and I found one that was loose. So I reconnected that one and still, it still won't heat the glow plugs. So, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to wire it direct with a switch that bypasses that controller all together and just activates the glow plugs. Now here's a 12 volt 20 continuous duty solenoid that I just bought. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to mount it on the old glow plug controller base. I removed all the solenoid and stuff and these wires they go down underneath and there's an electronic something or other in there which we're not going to use. And by the way, anytime you see any of those things that have that kind of stuff there that's covering wiring like that, don't touch it because it could be toxic. Especially if it's been on a motor and gotten hot. So I got a little diagram here that comes with the... If you guys want to have this for your records, you can pause the video and It'll show you how to mount one of these things. So we have to make up a short jumper wire here for ground. That's going to go to here because this bolts to the engine. Glow plugs will attach to here. Ign push button wire will attach to here. And the battery power will attach to here. 
Alright, so we've got the solenoid mounted on the old glow plug mount. And these wires aren't going to do anything, they're just going to just be tucked out of the way. This is the ground wire that's going to attach with one of the mounting bolts. So we're going to remove this glow plug controller and replace it with this. Alright, there's what it looks like. So let's give it a try. Keys on. Four, five, seven, eight, nine, ten. One more. Two, three, four, five, seven, eight, nine, ten. Still not going. Three, four, five, six, eight, nine, ten. All right, figure out why that's not working. Okay, found a loose wire to the sh fuel shut off, so let's try it again. Four, five, six, nine, ten seconds. So it needs more than ten seconds. Three, four, seven, eight, nine, ten, one, two, three, five. Okay, there's about fifteen seconds. Still no. Three. Okay, there's another fifteen seconds. check my wiring. Okay, the next step is to test the glow plugs. Now, this is one of them right here. You can see the wire here. So you can see the glow plug there. And you just use a 7 16ths deep socket and you can unscrew it. And there's two ways to test it. One is you can use an ohm meter to test it without taking it out of the truck. And all you would do is you take this wire off and you put the ground part of the ohm meter onto the bottom there where it screws into the block. And the positive part of the ohm meter on where this wire plugs on and read what the resistance is. So I'm not exactly sure what that is. I've never looked it up. But another way to test it and what I did was I take them out and then you put them on the battery. You sit the the body of the thing on the negative terminal of the battery and then you have a small wire that goes from the positive terminal over to the where the wire connects to the glow plug and you gotta hold it with pliers because they're gonna get hot and you touch the wire to the top part of the glow plug and it should get hot within about seven seconds you'll see it start to smoke and then it'll start to glow red and I took all mine out of my motor none of them were working so that's the problem. I put other glow plugs in there and they're all tested. I test them all before I install them and they all work. And, and now when you push that button, you hold it for about eight or 10 seconds and it starts right up. And I'm gonna show you how it starts here in a minute on a cold day. Well, yeah, I had actually replaced all of these when I put this motor in the truck three years ago. And I use AutoLine brand glow plugs. And they only lasted like not even three years. They were failing one by one. And that's why it was getting harder and harder to start. And near the end there, I was down to only one glow plug working. So that's why it wasn't starting. Eventually that one died. And that's why when I was pushing the button, nothing was happening. So 
I did more research and what they recommend is you get the glow plugs original equipment from Ford and they last a lot longer so do that guys don't use the aftermarket glow plugs okay it's cold out today it's like about a couple degrees above zero so Two, three, four, nine. Okay, there's ten seconds of glow. We have to do it again. Another ten seconds of glow. start the truck when it's cold out now so follow this procedure guys if you got one of these 73 or 6.9 IDI diesels work for me it should work for you too My ship isn't coming and I just can't pretend My ship isn't coming and I just can't pretend My ship isn't coming and I just can't pretend My ship isn't coming and I just can't pretend My ship isn't coming and I just can't pretend My ship isn't coming and I just can't pretend My ship is
Fly by Night off Rush's 1975 album by the same name. Thanks guys for joining me tonight and we'll see you all next time. Take care.